May 12, 1985, St. Louis, Missouri. One man arrives in style as only he can, looking as only he can look. A globetrotter, a world traveler who has defended his coveted NWA World's title multiple times in Florida, Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Georgia, Virginia, Oregon, and Japan, and that's only in the past 30 days. He is the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. And with that hard work put in comes the spoils. A woman in every town he visits. A beautiful riverside view. To be in the presence of Ric Flair is to be surrounded by greatness. Flair has an aura all his own as he consoles a young lady who gets emotional just in his presence. And before business tonight at the Keel Auditorium comes a pleasurable afternoon including a most decadent lunch. The most expensive dining establishment in town. The rarest champagne. The finest caviar. And as many main course meals as one can have. The limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling dealing, son of a gun, is not just living in decadence for the cameras. It's not a lifestyle that's turned on or off depending on who's watching. It's 24-7. The Nature Boy lives fast, hard, and never, ever takes a night off. As Flair enjoys his company, in the back of his mind is later tonight, which will surely be no night off as Flair defends the NWA World's title against Kevin Von Erich in the main event. Flair arrives in a beautiful limousine. Only the biggest, only the best, only the finest things in life. That's what Rick has afforded to him, being the best pro wrestler in the world today. And in spite of those spoils, you can see the determination and the focus on the face of the nature boy, as he knows in the back of his mind, any night, including tonight, could be his last as champion. Kevin Von Erich warms up for the chance to bring wrestling's richest prize back to his family, just as his brother Kerry did when he defeated Rick a year earlier in Texas Stadium. Flair is too smart to underestimate his challenger and is certainly ready to live up to his reputation as the dirtiest player in the game, if need be. Flair can be a marathon man. He is ready to go an hour or more, if that's what it takes to pay the price of being the world's champion. You see the care that Flair takes in transporting and handling that title. Representative all over the world of a man without peer in a class all his own and with his $15,000 sequin robe and not a hair out of place, Ric Flair readies for battle as he enters a potentially hostile, rapid Keel Auditorium full of passionate wrestling fans on a night that included legendary names as the Midnight Express the Fantastics, Scott Hall, Dan Spivey, Shawn Michaels, Iceman Kick Parsons, and Rufus R. Jones. As Kevin Von Erich feels out the ropes, the ring, his balance, all important key, and soak in the energy and adulation of his fans. The Nature Boy Ric Flair, the long walk down the corridor, the first view of the fans and the challenger. A kiss for his lady friend for good luck, or will it be a kiss goodbye for the NWA World's title? The lights are on bright. The anticipation is palpable. We are seconds away 
from a matchup many months, if not years, in the making as the nature boy Ric Flair defends the world championship against Kevin Von Erich at historic Keel Auditorium in St. Louis, Missouri.